Hello everybody and welcome back to the game Stray and I'm K-Dog. So apparently he decided to take a little nap on us. <laughs> little nooky places to take a nap at. Alright, am I stuck under the table? I was gonna say. Alright, off to find the safe. Item to use. The keys, of course. Thank you. Nice work. Another notebook. One seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off Zerks on our way out. Oh, so those little crab-like things are probably Zergs. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find other notebooks. Alright. And that other place was not too far. Alright. Like right over there. I didn't mean to take a book with me, but okay. Meow. Meow, meow. Hmm. 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 Can I scratch this up? Nope. He's gonna take a nap. We're not gonna take a nap. Sorry. Alright, uh, go that way. Hell you. Oh, schniggity. Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. So we gotta go back this way. Up here. And across. He's ignoring me. How rude. How can you ignore a cuddly, cuddly... You know what? I was gonna push one off, but it won't let me. Please don't, don't bother me, but she's so clumsy. <laughs> Power supply. What happens if I take it? Thank you. Do I? How? Okay. In this build- Oh, wait a minute. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. Say, so I gotta get in this building. And if I didn't take out that plug, that fan would have chopped me up. Ooh, that could have been bad. Alright. No, go down. I want on this bed. There we go. Oh, that's the power thing. Okay, I was gonna say, do I have to pull out another one? Nothing. Hey, <laughs> look! It looks like a vape! Um, I don't want to go that way. I want to go up. Because I seen something up here. Apparently, I just seen trash. Okay. But I didn't find anything! Hey! I didn't find anything! Aha! There it is. Sneaky bugger. 
Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zal... Baltars. <laughs> I can't pronounce that name very well, but that's alright. All traces of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zergs. They seem to emo eat almost anything that moves and breed at any inconvenienceful rate. As if being locked in it in this city isn't hard enough. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I have found the design flaw of the trans receiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that would be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Alright, so we gotta go back to Momo. Alright, so I was right. I, I did miss it. Now we gotta go back to Momo. And before we go back to Momo, though, I want to go up this way because, like, I'm curious of what is up here. Like. like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper levels. Yes, I remember. The town is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. I see something on the wall over there. Earth, Earth is the third planet from the sun, the fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it is the only Cecil object known to foster life. According to the rectometer dating, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. It has a single natural satellite, the moon, which formed soon after. The gravitational interaction with the moon creates the tide, stabilizes the Earth axis of rotation. Okay, you're telling me there's things that I already know, basically. Like, I mean, I know I'd probably, probably not technically all that, but. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Oh, you found Clementine notes. She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I've ever met. Oh, it belongs to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He always had it verge on a great discovery. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? That's incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Clementine Zubbar, Doc, I'm sorry, I doubted our cause. I promise you, I will find to reach the surface. Thank you, you might be able to find you a way up. Now, let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Voila, it works. Come with me. Um, not yet. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. New item. 
You're the only one small and quick enough to evade Zergs. We need to we need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Make sure. Ooh, a ball. <laughs> All right, here we go. Off of that building. Oh, boy. Uh, gonna be quite a, a lot of parkour. <laughs> Might as well get it going. Rooftops. Oh no, yep. So those things are called zerks. Alright. Can I walk across this pole? No. They're gonna make me jump down there and run from them. There we go. Oh, bee, 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 bee. There we go. Aha. I'm good. Catch me. Ah, I'm the ginger kitty. Is there a way I climb that? No. I must have went the wrong way. Remember. The city is full of neon. It it wasn't always this way. There used to be a strict energy caps, especially in the slums. The people couldn't handle the constant darkness. But one day, someone lit up the rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their houses. That person was taken away and never seen again. The people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of sign, lots of lights on their homes. There was nothing opposers could do. It was a way for the people to see color again, like on the outside. I think it helped. some balls, I tell you that now. Haha, <laughs> I was smarter than you. Damn Zerks. the right way. 
Oh, there's a bunch of them over there. Let's see what's over here first. Absolutely nothing. All right. Oh, I see a way. I was going to say, I don't think I see a way in. Oh, no. There we go. That's a good kitty! Mr. Meow Meows? Ooh. This must be like a breeding ground for Zerks. Because they're the ones that are stopping them from going above. Oh, man. They are coming. Uh-huh. Um... I oh, I see it. Which way do I go? I gotta, okay, I gotta get them out of there. All right, I see it, I see it, let's go. Or I can just check out what's over here real quick too. Oh, look, another memory. responsible for the waste management. As trash from the upper level overloads the slums, they try to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, the bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have Zerks. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Yep, you do that while um, I run. Whoa, hey, though they're quick. Lock that son bitch before they come around. Wait a minute. I'm stuck. I just gotta be quick. Because they're gonna notice that I'm outside. Come on. There we go. good Ooh, more paint cans okay no, no no more of that shit oh shit oh sh shit
Okay, this is the way I'm supposed to be going? Okay, yep, 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 yep. Please. No. Okay, they're just down below. I'm gonna pull this lever. Ass cat, I tell you that now. Good luck. Have fun. Oh Don't shit! Die. Mother. I just gotta keep running until it gets down here. Ah! Can we hurry it up? Please! I died for the first time. Oh, I really lost one life. I really lost one life. Where do I start is the question. Okay. Go we'll pull the lever. I wonder if I can jump back up on that. Let's give it a go. Nope, I can't. Just bring around the rosy yet. Keep them behind me. Whoa! Open up, please! Oh, no. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I died two times. I'm so sad. <sighs> just, I just gotta keep running. That's the thing. There's just so many of them, though. Like... along with just make another loop oh come on ah fuckers Stay right here. Here we are. Yeah, that's not going to open. Is, it, is this where the transmitter goes? Is in this area? Yes. Use item. Oh, I only got three music notes out of eight. Oh, well. Here we go. Let me guess, we gotta return to Momo. 
Look at the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city wasn't meant... Eh. The city was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights making the menic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster. Completely barren, un unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories aren't coming back and others aren't. But I am certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back to find Momo. Now we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Pretty sure I gotta climb Ooh, that tower out there. to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Be careful. If it, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Like, I'm going to fucking know what that was. The code was... Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try it again. And then there was or <laughs> zero. Let's see. Success. It works. Momo's at the bar waiting for us. Focus. Don't want to drop another bucket. Cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Oh. <laughs> so I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to do that until here later. Um, but I, I'll be back. I'll figure it out. But right now we gotta find the bar. Oh, there he is. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Ah, 
talk with Millie. Here, show you that. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we hear you. We're from the slums. We are looking for a way out and wait. Are you Zellbord? Momo? Shh. I can't believe I'm so happy to hear your voice, Elbor. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, Psh. we are safe. Psh. We found a way up. Psh. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? Hello? Uh, darn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zellbor is alive, and he and the others... Uh, and the other outsiders managed to go up there through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zelbar made it, there must be a way. So I guess we gotta go through the sewers next, eh? Huh? You'll never get past the sewers, it is infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal of you, especially the little one. Many have tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warn you, your business is none of my business. Samus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zergs. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Samus has never been the same since. Don't listen to Samus, he's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, there's a ticket to join the outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he's working on it. There might be a clue of Samus' apartment. Come follow me. Alright guys, that's all the time I have for this video. If you like this video, hit it with a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe today. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.